Hey everybody, this is Ferdinand with DJI and we are here on the peak of one of the highest mountains in Portugal. Our major goal was to shoot a short movie about the feeling and lifestyle of downhill skateboarding. For me, longboarding is not just about the speed and the adrenaline you feel during the ride. A big part is also the landscape and the beautiful mountains where we're always hanging out. To transfer the feeling of speed, we wanted to get as close as possible to the riders and the street, but still have stabilized and smooth cinema grade footage. The tight and winding roads at our location ask for a special camera car setup. We're using our Ronin on a flow cinema black arm rigged to a side by side buggy. With the Ronin remote controller and the DJI Focus, the camera operator on the passenger seat was able to control the camera orientation and adjust the lens focus while driving. This hill here is very difficult to ride. You really have to think about the lines in the corners. If you don't slide enough, if you don't brake enough, you might just slide out and hit a rock wall or just a pile of rocks. And yeah, it might hurt a lot, so it's tough. In most of the longboard videos nowadays, the biggest focus is on the action and the close-ups of the riders, and you don't really see a lot of the beautiful landscape. With the DJI drones, it was possible to be close to the rider and then move out and show the whole mountain range and all the beautiful things around here and this is what makes it so special for me. The aerial shots played an important role in the movie. We aimed for new perspectives and angles that are impossible to get with a car or a regular helicopter. The conditions were demanding due to the speed of the skaters and the strong winds at high altitude. The Inspire 2 handled those challenges flawlessly. The powerful propulsion system, the advanced flight controller and the X5S gimbal stabilization allowed us to keep up with the fast skaters and get super stable footage despite the high winds. The integrated FPV camera with a separate video stream enabled the pilot to maintain orientation while the gimbal operator was free to track the skaters with the main camera. To speed up the editing process while maintaining excellent picture quality, we decided to use the ProRes 422 HQ codec that is now available on the Inspire 2 and the X5S camera. The X5S also gave us the ability to use different Micro Four Thirds lenses. We used the 12, 15, 25 and 45mm lenses according to the different scenes and perspectives we wanted to shoot. We also wanted to give a brief insight into the building process of a downhill skateboard. The fact that Alex is not only a great skater, but also builds and tests the board at his brother's company helped us a lot here. The philosophy of our brand is to create unique boards which are really suiting the needs of the longboarder, but keep to our corporate design. We take wood as it is, keep a plain, simple look to make a board which works best. When we start designing a new board, we never start with nothing. It's always we take one board that we already got, and usually Alex is, is skating it downhill, and he comes back, hopefully not injured, and then he says, okay, we got this edge, it's too small, and I need a bit more width, and the flex is not perfect. We had lots of fun skating and filming each other with the DJI Osmo because it gave us such smooth footage compared to the shaky footage we usually get when we're just filming with the regular action cams. 